this video I'm going to talk about the importance of having a boot password. Not just a Windows password, Windows login password for your user account, but an actual boot up password. It's also referred to as a BIOS password or a CMOS password. Because I'm going to show you the significance of having a password on your boot up. Say I'm a hacker or a thief. I just stole your laptop. I can't get into your computer. You're thinking, great. Wrong. You can download programs legally and for free online to clear out the password. And the thought behind this program but they made it with an addition of a person not remembering the password and just clearing it for good use. They're not meaning it for somebody to use this program to hack into their system. I already had the software loaded onto the CD-ROM disk. I throw it to boot into the CD-ROM. It's going to boot up here. I'm going to tell it enter to boot. It's going to load its files. Another person, and I'm the thief, and I have this software. I'm going to look for the biggest hard drive partition on here, and that's number two. And this here is just asking for the path of the registry. I hit enter. This here it says, Do you want to press one for password reset? I press one, hit enter. Press one to edit user data and password and I have a list here of the administrator the guest account and the user account. Well, I'm going to type in the user's name here and here I'm going to tell it blank or clear out the user password pressing 1. You're noticing how quickly I'm working here. Password is cleared. Type in exclamation point to quit I'm going to tell it Q for quit. It's going to ask you, you're about to write files back. Do it? I'm going to tell it yes. That's going to save the, the data I just did. You can try again. If somehow it failed, you want to, or you selected wrong. New run, I'm going to tell it no. And here I'm just going to tell it Control Alternate Delete to restart the computer. And now it's going to be loading Windows 7 again. So if you have a BIOS password or a CMOS password, that person has to have that information first in order to get to any of this here. Now there are ways around that CMOS or the BIOS password or the boot up password. They can take the battery out of your laptop, but if it's just some simple minded person and they have a boot up password, they're not even going to bother with it. They're just going to either pitch it or try to sell it back on the either Craigslist or eBay or even a selling site on Facebook. So it's loading back in the Windows. So in less than five minutes here, I've stuck the disk in it, I've told it to reboot knowing that it did not have the password found out what the username was the common user went through the software blanked out the password and I'm now on this guy's desktop in less than five minutes I'm back into this guy's computer and I can take any information that I want off of it if I want to take his pictures, his documents, people do tax documents on the computer now. I don't know why. All your information is there. You've seen a previous video of mine, hopefully, of how to remove passwords from Firefox and Google. 
you've seen me complain about people storing their passwords because your bank account, your PayPal accounts can be compromised and how quickly and easy it is. Now I'm telling you that you need to have a BIOS password or a CMOS password if you have a lot of valuable data on your computer. And that's how quick it is for me to get in and blank somebody's password out. A matter of five minutes. Now, I'm going to show you how to create the BIOS password. CMOS password, boot up password, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now this is going to vary from computer to computer, and once you have this password, you definitely do not want to forget this password. Yes, there's ways around of removing it, sometimes it's a permanent deal. If the battery is soldered down to the board, you literally have to destroy the battery in order to remove the password. There's a battery in the and the motherboard that saves the BIOS settings or the CMOS settings, saves your date and time, and saves special settings that are set up for your hard drive and whatnot. So that could cause issue for booting up. Now that I gave you the lecture of how easy it is to steal your password, I'm going to show you how to set up a boot password. It's simple. A lot of computers either use Escape, F1, or F2, sometimes the delete key. But you start out by turning your computer on. This one you have to hit Escape, go to the startup menu. And I'm going to go to BIOS Setup. And in here, this is the BIOS Setup. As you see, it's the blue screen. And there's no mouse functionality. You just the left and right with the key. Okay. They also call it a power on password. And an administrator password. An administrator password it controls access to the setup utility. Power on password controls access to the system at boot. So if you want to set the password to 1234, which we're going to do 1234, and hit enter, confirm it 1234, and you hit enter again. Changes have been saved. Continue. Now we're going to go over to exit. I'm going to tell it exit saving changes. Exit saving changes? Yes. Now watch what happens. Enter the administrator password or power on password. Now I can't stick my disk in there and go bloop. I got in your computer. I have to have the password to go get to the next screen. So if you type in uh, ASB, let's just try that. This is going to say invalid password. You get three time to do this, and it will either shut down the computer or reboot the computer. So once you type in the correct password, you can log into your computer. And I'm going to change this back because the user of this computer probably won't want this set up. So I, I'm suggesting to you if you have a lot of heavy documentations and photos and financial stuff, you might want to have that power on password. That's it. That's how you do it. That's how easy it is to get into your computer. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the video comments below. Hit the subscribe button if you want. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.